Here we have the chapter 3.1, Guided Notes. This uh, section is about inequalities. And an inequality is the comparison of, uh, of two values. So an inequality compares the values of two expressions. There are four inequality symbols that we use. There are four. And those inequality symbols are, uh, we could say less than, and we say, and that's the way we read it. It reads less than. Then we have greater than. Uh, then we have less than or equal to. We have less than or equal to. And we have greater than or equal to. Greater than. Or equal to. So yeah, less than, greater than, less than or equal to, and greater than or equal to. So let's put these in practice. So this example here, so we're going to write an inequality for the following verbal expressions. All real numbers x greater than 14. Which one was greater than again? Let's go take a look. Here's my greater than. So we're going to say all real numbers x that are greater than 14. Okay, now what about all real numbers b less than or equal to negative 5? Well, I'm going to say b is less than or equal to negative 5. Well, not too bad. So here we use the number line. Say number lines. Number lines to graph inequalities. So we're going to graph all the possible values of j that are greater than or equal to negative six. So here we get out our number line. I get my number line out here. Here's my number line. I'll put my arrow here. And I only need really three values. That's all I really want to see. So I'm going to put zero here. And let's put six over here. And then here we have negative six. Now it says that j is greater than or equal to negative six. So that's going to be all the values to the right of negative six. Because zero is bigger than negative six. Six is bigger than negative six. But things over here, like negative 12, that's not bigger than negative 6. Now, since it is greater than or equal to, I'm going to put a closed circle on 6. And I'm going to put my arrow to the right, saying all of these numbers here. Sometimes we'll shade. It's OK to shade or draw an arrow. I just want some indicator that we are moving to the right. So for our purposes, I want a shade. Let's shade the number line to the right, because these are all the values that are bigger than or equal to negative 6. All right, so the next one, p is less than or equal to 9. Well, now we get our number line out here. Got an arrow going that way, an arrow going that way forever. So we have, over here we have, let's say, negative 4. Doesn't matter. That's not the value I'm really worried about. The word, the one I'm worried about is this 9 here. And I want to show all the values that are less than or equal to 9. And again, I'm going to use this closed circle here. And the reason why I'm using a closed circle is that it is less than or equal. Remember over here, it was greater than or equal. And I'm going to shade all the numbers that are less than 9. Well, 0 is less than 9, so I'm going to shade to the left here. I'm go this way. Now we have the next one, where x is greater than 4. 
I get our number line out. And go this way and this way. And we have zero. You always want to show zero on your number line. Um, here we have a four, and let's just put negative four over here. Now, since it's strictly greater than, it's not greater than or equal to, but just greater than, I'm going to put an open circle. Here I have an open circle at 4, and I'm going to shade to the, well, x is bigger than 4, so I'm going to shade to the right, all the numbers that are bigger than 4. And for number 5, negative 1 is less than b. Hmm. That sounds a little weird. So far, up to this point, all of our variables have been on the left side. So just now we have our variable on the right side. So one way of thinking about this is to remember that Pac-Man eats the bigger. In other words, this little symbol here, this less than, if I were to draw Pac-Man, here we go. That's a terrible drawing of Pac-Man. Pac-Man's going to go nom 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 nom. He's going to go and eat the bigger value. So B is my bigger value. So whenever I put my numbers here, I get 0. And we'll put uh, 2 over here. And over here we have negative 1. So at negative 1, I want to say that B is going to be bigger than negative 1. And again, this is where I have my open circle because it's strictly... It's not less than or equal, it's strictly less than. That's my symbol here. And again, b, my b value, is the bigger number. So is 0 bigger than negative 1? Yeah. So then I'm going to shade to the right. And notice how I keep using 0. 0 is always a great test number if you can use it. And we're going to shade to the right. OK. Sometimes we need to identify a solution. A solution. Oh man, that was terrible. <laughs> Glad I used pencil. A solution. We do this by plugging in values and following the order of operation. Remember, that's PEMDAS, as we normally would. So let's try this example out here. We're given that 4y plus 5 is less than or equal to 12. So we want to know if any of the following numbers are a solution to that. So I have 4. So I'm going to take 4, and I'm going to plug my 4 in for y. So I say 4 times 4 plus 5. Is that less than or equal to 12? So 4 times 4 is 16. 16 plus 5, is that less than or equal to 12? That's 21. Is 21 less than or equal to 12? No. So that's a big no. So for number 4, I would say no. That is not a solution. All right, what about negative 8? I'm going to do negative 8 down here. 4 times negative 8 plus 5. Is that going to be less than or equal to 12? Well, let's find out. So 4 times negative 8 is negative 32. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Make sure you write it right. That's a 12 there. So negative 32 plus 5 is negative 27. Negative 27, that is less than or equal to 12. So yes, negative 8 is and now for 0, I say 4 times 0 plus 5. Is that going to be less than or equal to 12? Well, 4 times 0 is 0, so 0 plus 5 is 5. Is 5 less than or equal to 12? Yes, absolutely. I'll say yes, it is. All right, what about number 2? Uh, what about the value of 2? So we're going to say 4 times 2 plus 5. Is that less than or equal to 12? Well, 8 plus 5. Let's see. 8 plus 5. Is that less than or equal to 12? Well, 8 plus 5 is 13, and that is not less than or equal to 12. Whoa, 
Well, watch what I write now. Or 12. There we go. This is not true. So 2 is a no. I say no for that one. All right, so the homework for this set is going to be on page 168. We're going to do problem numbers 8 through 30. We're going to do 8 through 36. Problem number 8 through 36 evens. Even I can write today. All right. Enjoy your enjoy your uh, night. Is it a Thursday? Is it a is it a Wednesday? It's a Wednesday or a Thursday. I hope you did well on your exam. Mr. Thornburg says hi. <laughs>